Interest Rates Problem 1 The bonds of Hardy Homeware provide an annual yield of 4.5%. If the current rate of inflation is 1.5%, what is the implied real rate of return on these bonds? Now this is an application of the Fisher effect, and the Fisher effect talks about what is the real, in other words, what, what are you effectively getting as a return? So if we were to, example, for example, have an, a yield of 4.5%, but the inflation were also to be 4.5%, then effectively you're getting a 0% return because you're gaining 4.5%, but then everything after a year costs 4.5% more. So the Fisher effect has that relation or makes the relation between the real rate of return, in other words, the economic gain versus the nominal rate, in other words, what we see as the uh, yield, which is a 4.5%. And the re relation is 1 plus of that nominal rate, that would be the 4.5%, equals 1 plus the real rate times 1 plus inflation. So turning that around, solving for the real rate, we have 1 plus the real rate is 1 plus nominal divided by 1 plus inflation. Here we have the 4.5% and the 1.5%, which gives us here 1 plus the nominal rate. So you subtract 1, and then the real rate of interest is 2.956. Sorry, this was 1 plus the real rate. So the real rate of interest is 2.956%, which is the real gain in uh, holding this bond. Now, compare that to the approximation. The approximation would be uh, the subtraction of the uh, nominal rate minus the inflation would give us the real rate. And you can see it's pretty close. We have 3% versus 2.956%. So there you have it. Thanks a lot for your attention and hope that helped.